Today we're going to learn how to create a vintage look for our holiday photos and we're using this image from Grand Central Terminal in New York City. A few days ago, I happened to share an image from this collection that many people actually wanted to see edited. So I thought, since it's the holiday, this is a holiday image, what perfect time then to share this particular edit. So with that said, let's get right into our editing. The first thing that I want to do is go up here to my profile and where it has Adobe Color. I'm gonna switch that to Adobe Standard. I always like starting on Adobe Standard and keeping my photos that way. So your personal preference as far as what you use, but that's what I like to use for my images. So I'm actually going to skip my white balance and I'm going to explain why once I come to the end of this, but for this starting point, we're actually going to skip that and go down to exposure and contrast. Now my exposure is pinpoint perfect here, so we don't need to adjust that, but I do want to take away some of the contrast. So we'll do a little bit there. And then we'll also bring down some of our highlight levels. And we'll come down quite a bit there. Now for my shadows, we're going to take this all the way up to 100. And then we'll also increase our white levels as well. Now, if you all remember in episode two, I shared that anytime I go up in my shadows, I'm typically coming down in my black levels. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to bring this down quite a bit to about 40. From there, I want to add a little bit in texture and also in my clarity. And this is where I start to get my really well-defined edges. So people always think there are secrets to my photos. There really isn't. You know, in combination and using Zeiss lenses and just how I control my black levels, that's where my signature look comes from. And so using the clarity tool, that's a big way of how I really emphasize my style. And so we'll also run a little bit of dehazing here as well. And that looks good. So we don't need any adjustments on our vibrance or saturation here. So we'll jump down to my favorite, the tone curve. And so what I wanna do here in the tone curve is we're going to switch over to the point, select point curve and use one of my film like presets here. And we'll use four train curve. All right. And so then we'll switch back here and we'll proceed on. And I want to increase my darks and my shadows. So for my dark levels, I'm going to go up a little bit. Looks good. Now for my shadows here, we're doing the same thing we did in the basics, going all the way to 100. Once we have that, then we're going to make these adjustments, bring that down and bring this up. And there we go. Okay. So next is our HSL. And I want to kind of focus on specific colors. You know, it's the holidays, gold, green, red. Those are the colors we're focused on. Everything else does not matter. So I'm actually going to start with my saturation first. So let's take out the colors we really don't need. That'll be purple. We don't need magenta, aqua. We don't really need that here. And I may also bring down a little bit of my yellow and some of my orange. Okay, and that looks good. And then next I'll go up back up to my hue and I want to really emphasize more of the green. So let's change our green channel to a little bit more green. And we'll come and do that for our reds. We'll change our reds a little bit here as well. That looks pretty good. Next, luminance. I want to really emphasize some of those colors that we have left. So emphasize our red, emphasize our orange, also do the same for our yellow, green, and our aqua channel. But we'll bring down blue here and also here in purple. And that looks pretty good. I think we look good there. Might bring back the yellow a bit. So once we've done that, we'll go to our highlights for our color grading. Now, I'm not going to adjust everything here. We just want to adjust our highlights. And what I'm going to do is go into a little bit of the warm color here. 
and then add saturation and that looks good now i want this to act the same way that it did with split toning before the update so i'm going to change my blending and go from 50 to 100. so in doing so it's now giving me the effects of what split toning was before so once we have that we'll go down to our detail and i'll just add a little bit of sharpness maybe add a little bit of masking and because we're at ISO 2000, I'll add a little bit of noise reduction, maybe about 25%. And that looks good. So lens corrections will enable our profile corrections and we won't make any adjustments there. And then we'll come down to effects. So I'll just get this started, add a little bit in the amount and then bring my midpoint all the way to zero, bring highlights all the way up to hundred, feather that a bit looks good and then go back to amount and then really bring this in there we go so once we have that i'm going to come back to the top and before we do anything else i'm going to do a little bit of straightening because if you look at the center here that post is a little bit turned to the side and so we want to actually straighten that up a bit so we'll adjust that you go about 0.3 that looks good that looks good Okay, so in coming back to the top and our white balance, the reason I didn't adjust that here, or I should say didn't adjust that initially is because you can really edit this the way that you choose. If you want a more warmer look to your holiday photo, you can leave it on a warmer tone, or if you want something that's cooler. So for instance, if I made this a little bit cooler, you see we get a very different effect. Whereas if we have it warmer, you get an effect there. It's just solely up to you. Now, one thing that I notice here is at the bottom, you see how our highlights are kind of blown here. And so I want to bring the detail back here. So what I'm going to do is select adjustment brush and we're just simply going to highlight that area where those lights are. We might come in there too. Okay. So once we've done that, bring down the highlights and then I'll also increase the clarity just to give a little bit more edge depth. And there we go. Simple as that. We brought that detail back. So I think that looks pretty good. You know, if you're interested in having this look for your photos, it is available in my store and it's called the Grand Central Golden Vintage 3 preset. Now you have to adjust this for the colors that you have in your image, but that exact preset is what was used for this image. And you can find that in Urban Street Tones Volume 7, as well as the Urban Street Tones Master Collection. So try these out for your holiday photos and see what you come out with. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this video and be sure to look for more in the future. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video and happy holidays.